I'm getting a lot of messages from people saying like how they want to step their stuff up. No, just <laughs> They need to get the R5 to do it and blah, blah, blah. We're gonna use a T3i as a uh, oil block here. Getting a new camera and the most expensive camera is not gonna make your work any better. I want to talk about gear. So everyone's obsessed with the latest and greatest, including me. I like having the latest camera just because they usually have new technology that just makes my job a little bit easier. Uh, at the end of the day, you can put any camera in my hand and I'll be able to get the job done with it. The results might not look as high quality, but the whole aesthetic and the product will be there, uh, the end product. When I first started doing photography, my first camera was the Canon T2i. That camera, I still feel like I've shot some of my best, like personally, my best work on that camera. Camera. Now, I couldn't find a T2i, but I found a T3i. And I just wanted to kind of share, you know, it's not really about the camera. It comes down more to your vision, the, the styling, the lighting, uh, the background, just all of that. As you guys can see, I didn't really like focus on like getting the best shots when I was using the T3i. I just want to show comparison. So you see, when you look at just the T3i shots, they look just fine, right? You can see that the R5 kind of has a little bit more quality to it, but pretty much the colors are pretty similar. Similar, dynamic range almost looks similar. So the R5 looks a little better, but quick interruption. I do think it's very important to say that this is a full frame versus a crop sensor. Again, the whole point of this video is just to show that you can create awesome photos with any camera, really. It just comes down to your vision. I bought this for $200 use with the kit lens, and I shot those pictures with the kit lens. You can see you can easily still get like decent photos from it. This was just me trying to show people, you know, the camera doesn't really matter. I'm getting a lot of messages from people saying like how they want to step their stuff up, they need to get the R5 to do it, and blah, blah, blah. Getting a new camera, and the most expensive camera is not gonna make your work any better. If that's what you're focusing on, your work's never gonna get better. If you want to get better at your work and book more brands and clients, you need to focus on getting very like unique, high quality photos. High quality meaning just like really good photography, not just like really big megapixels and shit like that. Worry about uh, finding a team, learning how to style, learning uh, how to get a vision. That's the most part is just having a vision. If you just go out and you try to get a decent model and you just shoot whatever, it's gonna look like trash. From even contacting a model, getting a vision together, finding out what aesthetic you wanna shoot, what kind of lighting you wanna shoot, what location, what time of day. And then from there, you start figuring out uh, how to get that wardrobe. I usually just thrift everything. You can figure out if you need a makeup artist or a hairstylist, if you need to rent a location or if you need to go location scouting. As you see, all this has nothing to do with what freaking camera you're shooting with. Um, but yeah, I'll just go ahead and roll the photo shoot. But a lot of it's film, it's kind of my latest obsession. So everything that I just talked about, shooting film with all of that, it just gives you kind of this content with my film shots. That's not to say the R5, I, when I go and edit the R5 shots later, I still love those shots a lot and it's just kind of training my eye to edit differently because I've been struggling with being happy with my edits and then when I got the R5 uh, basically when I switched back to Canon I was able to get like the colors that I've been missing for since I started and you guys can see from the edits on the T3i they, they look pretty similar so it's kind of like the Canon color science that I was missing uh, in general but um, yeah again not a super technical video but uh, let me just roll the photo shoot footage and uh, enjoy. I'm just parked inside of the street. There's a really bomb location. Let's see if we can, you can see it right there. Um, I have a little surprise for you guys though. Bam. So this is uh, the Canon Rebel T3i. Uh, the first camera I've ever owned was the Canon T2i. I couldn't find one of those uh, in time, but I found this T3i. This is like 200 bucks bought off offer up. I just want to show people that at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what camera you're shooting on. It's more about the art direction and the usage of lights and directing and all that. Put this up against the R5 and uh, I'll be shooting film today too. So three cameras, a lot going on. Well, four including this thing. So let's go. There's no wind right now. I've never used the strobe on this Mamiya 645 AFD, so we shall see how this turns out. Hold, eyes closed, open in three, two, one. Did that go off? It didn't. It didn't go off like that last time? You positive? Yep. Look towards the light a little bit more. Chin down though. Go ahead. So this is a $200 camera. 
Well, not bad, right? Shooting with this T3i, it's pretty easy. There's not much to it. You just, I mean, I thought going back to a DSLR like viewfinder was gonna be difficult, but it wasn't that hard. But uh, yeah, you guys will see the shots. I wasn't trying to get anything like too crazy with it, so the shots aren't like perfect, but you'll see the quality all that you could pretty much get still like editorial quality. It doesn't really matter what the camera is. It's more about um, how you light it and your whole situation and everything. We wasted a lot of film shots because for some reason the Godox trigger, it makes it flash sometimes and other times it just doesn't work at all. So uh, we'll see how those shots come out. But I'm probably gonna have to shoot some Portrait 800. Wonder. Yes. This roll is fucking done. About to throw a BF. If you guys don't know what BF is, watch the White Girls, White Chicks, that movie. I was metering this and I was getting pissed because I had a Portrait 400 and my flash wasn't triggering. I basically wasted half a roll of film, but I remembered my filter compensation was on, so it was metering negative three. So really, I was able to expose all that. So I'm juggling four cameras right now, so that's kind of what happens when you're trying to make a YouTube video and do a photo shoot. You got Wait, what did you do? I, that, that's, that's all you need to know. Three, two, one. No, Joss. <laughs> We're gonna use the T3i as a uh, wheel block here. There we go. It's good for something. Hold that. Look, uh, nose to the left a little bit. Look, uh, point your eyes where your nose is pointing. No, I, yep. Eyes closed. Three, two, one. Eyes closed. Three, two, one. Uh, do, let's do this. Okay, uh, I don't know. Something with your knee up there and then figure out your top end. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Let me see. Sit, hold that. Hold it, eyes open. I'm gonna get his tail lights. Cool. That's it. Um, hopefully I got some cool shots out of the T3i. I thought it was a T2i, it's 3 T3i. And then uh, we'll see how this film comes out. Uh, the first, the Porsche 400 is probably gonna come out like dog shit, but 800 should be better. They can't hear you because I'm mic'd. Oh. <laughs>